Hi guys and uh, welcome to Out of Reach uh, 0.8.1 So this game is just a uh, few hours or maybe few days away from the release when I'm recording that and uh, I just want to make a small guide for you so you're not gonna be like completely lost in this game if you decide to buy it or to play it so uh, let's start with the basics and uh, the first thing first is uh, controls like movement is pretty much is the same as in every game but the menus are way different so by pressing F1 you're gonna access your inventory F2 is gonna give you your character menu F3 is uh, basically like a crafting menu where you can craft your tools uh, and armor pretty much yeah, tools and armor and you can upgrade it F4 it's your skill tree more you do the sa of the same style more you like uh, chop down the trees so more you mine more you hunt your skills gonna go up F5 is the building menu and we'll cover it later but you scroll with, uh, you scroll through menu by pressing tab and it's a whole bunch of different things you can uh, you can build in this game so far it's yeah developers promise they're gonna add uh, a little bit more by uh, pressing F6 you're gonna be able to upgrade uh, your buildings yeah pretty much walls and doors and all that stuff F8 and F7 doesn't do anything F9 is uh, just to hide or show your vitals and F11 is the status, uh, online status of the players, who is on, who is not, with all your like uh, current skills and achievements. So, uh, first thing first, when you're gonna get into the game, you need to look for these plants. It's a fiber plant, so it's flex fiber. You need them to craft any weapon in this game. So if you want to have weapon on early stages, there's the plant you go for right away. It's uh, it's not hard to find, but you have to know you you have to know locations with. And there are other collectible resources in this game as well. Uh, the easiest food source, the collectible one, is the berries. It's a. Uh, it looks like a bush with a uh, red berries in it. I think uh, if we run across one, I'll show it to you. Okay, let's uh, get this one and we'll craft some weapon, maybe I'll just show you how to craft because yeah, I have some something crafted already I 
Okay, um, let's go to the craft menu. We can craft a like wooden shield, but it requires only wood. Uh, to make a pickaxe or the stone axe, you need to make a linen rope. And we can make five of it right now, so let's go ahead and do it. I'm just bringing my hunger up, but yeah, that's how the berries look like in your inventory. So, um, yeah, uh, let's see, yeah, what we can craft, yeah, we can craft a spear, a bow, we have the bow already, wooden shield, and an X. X is the one that you want to make in the early stages as well, because you're gonna get way more wood and way more stone by using X. I'll craft one right now, despite me having one. The one I have, uh, it's about to break. So it's a good idea to have a spare one. Also by pressing Q, you're switching hands and uh, your equipment. So we have the bow and a few arrows. Um, let's craft a uh, few more arrows and hunt down a gazelle. Uh, we'll make 14. We'll hunt down a uh, gazelle uh, harvested and uh, Hopefully we'll get some bones, raw meat, or hide. We have some fat from it, and we'll have some hide. We already have some cooked meal that I cooked earlier. Let's add arrows to our inventory. And let's hunt gazelle. Um, there are a few kinds of bows. The one that, that we have right now is the basic one. It's uh, the easiest one to craft. The best one in the game it's a uh, bone bow. And uh, there are a few types of arrows for the bow as well. Right now we have just basic wooden arrows without any tip. You can also upgrade the arrows to the bone arrows with the bone tip and uh, to the bronze arrows in order to get bronze you have to go and mine into the caves or try and find uh, copper and tin on the cliffs of the mountains and then smelt it in, in the forge there is also s iron in this game or steel there are no like iron tips or steel tips yet, but you can make a nice sword. Let's kill this one and uh, we'll move on. Yeah, uh, when you shoot the bow, make sure you aim a little bit higher. I say it's I. It was short of the target uh, a little bit higher because uh, the arrows have the drop um, there we go oh. okay we we'll have some meat bone meat and bowl. So uh, let's cook some meat, I guess. Uh, 
will go on the cliff over there to collect some stones and make ourselves a campfire. Okay. I know there are like some berries over there. I'm, I'm not gonna look for them on purpose. When you get into the game, you're gonna find them pretty easy. Got got some stone here. And here and <coughs> let's get a few more. should have enough for the campfire um, yeah, let's go make a campfire and uh, I'll show you uh, just the building bases I cut as you can tell like I cut some trees already or stumps over here when I cut the tree After it runs out of the wood, it falls down and uh, leaves the stump. Timber! Yeah, just like that. Okay, actually... Mm. There should be some berries in this area. I don't know if anybody picked them up already. But just in case, let's... Uh, let's double check. Yeah, it looks like... Ah, here we go. That's how the berry bush looks. So um, you pick up the berries just by pressing E and waiting to collect the berry one at a time. So yeah, let's get all these berries. Oops. Here we go. Yeah, let's get these berries. It's a nice source of food. It's uh, way easier than hunting. And uh, I've started to write like a small base, but I didn't do much in there. So I'm just gonna show you. What's the base building about here and how it works? So, uh, when you choose the place for a base, you don't want to make it like on an open field. The best thing to build a base is uh, the best place to be to build a base is uh, like, uh, top of the mountain or the cliff, because. Remember, there are like trebuchets in the game. And you have to place your base at the at such place. Place and place, yeah. Whatever. Um, so it's hard for trebuchet to hit you. Uh, doors are locked at all times. They're open just for you and... Uh, for the bodies that you add into the builder's desk. You have to build build builder's desk separately on the foundations. Each builder's desk has this like protection after damages, as you can see it says here. 
Right now we have the basic one that is only for three hours. If you upgrade it and go back into the menu, menu now it's six hours. We upgrade it again. Now it's twelve hours. So uh, the top level you can upgrade the builder's desk. It's uh, twenty-four hours. The building works pretty much like in any game you make the foundation and just place it next to each other it's good and we're out of materials uh, also let me see if we can uh, make the chest right now hold on I just missed it the chest yeah I'll yeah mine as well I'll just put it I'll put right here I should be able to put the wall around there so uh, nobody else but you or your bodies as well can't be able to access the chest so if somebody breaks into the door without using trebuchet they still cannot open your chest they have to find your builder's desk destroy it and then depending on the level of your builder's desk wait uh, for the cooldown time then they can loot your house or they can burn it it's yeah so the lowest build, builder's desk as i said is like three hours the top one is 48. so i'm still getting like some cheat reports yeah right i'm not even trying to cheat so um let's uh Let's make ourselves a campfire. And the reason also uh, you might want to build uh, next to the water, because there are boats in this game that allows that allow you to travel uh, between the islands. And it's uh, four islands in this game. Each island is slightly different. They have different sets of materials. Some of them have more caves, some have more like wildlife and different wildlife. Let's see, uh, we have six meat. Let's, let's cook six. Yeah, we'll leave this one. So, um, the campfire in the game, in this game, is not like uh, in any, in, oh, sorry, cannot talk. In any other game, it's, uh, you have to make it every single time. You cannot just go and chop some wood and throw it, throw it back into the campfire to keep it going. No, you have to build it every single time. So, easiest way to have a constant campfire or like constant source for cooking food or whatever is having a furnace because uh, you can cook there and smelt and yeah so if we make the furnace here yeah. Actually, yeah, let's make it here. You add some wood into the furnace, and just blow some air in it. And now we have a whole set of different options here. You can mock, you you can cook, 
you can make the steel armor, you can make the bronze armor, you can make the tools, as well as upgrade some. To make uh, the bronze and steel armor, you also need to make uh, to have the anvil. But in order to have the anvil, first you have to make the bronze. <coughs> And uh, yeah. So I think uh, I covered basics so far. Yeah. Also, the if you make the boat, boat is like free for all. You cannot uh, lock it. You cannot hide it only way to hide it is to make the base on the water and try to protect it with the walls that's about it there are several types of animals in here we saw the gazelle that's we hunted there are also zebras uh, tigers actually we can go and see the tiger right now I'm not gonna come any close to it but yeah you can see the tiger in the distance. There are also rhinos and hippos and alligators. So yeah, there are a bunch of different wildlife in this game. So um, yeah, hope you enjoy this game. I might make uh, several more like detailed guides later on but this pretty much is like out of reach 101 the basic stuff that's gonna help you out in the beginning so thanks for stopping by and uh, i'll see you next time bye